trying to get out of here and we've got a lobster pot stuck on our anchor. It's all wrapped around it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is gonna take a little while to sort out. Not ideal, huh? <laughs> I thought about cutting it and I was like, well, if I can undo it without cutting it, then that's best. That's just been wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Lobster pots everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we've been swinging a lot. Yeah, we've been going in circles <laughs> on the current out here. What a mission. It's about 30 minutes later. Okay, now we're ready to go. Yeah, the basin was a great stop. I really love that anchorage and it was just kind of nice and yesterday was really uh, foggy, which was super cool. <laughs> and this morning was super foggy too, but now it's cleared up and it's absolutely beautiful. Always full steam ahead with Sierra nowadays. <laughs> full steam ahead! And I think we're gonna head down to another island on the south side of Vinyl Haven, which is called like Brim, Brimstone Island? Brimstone. Brimstone. It's supposed to be stones there that are pretty cool. Stones? <laughs> so we'll see. But it's a beautiful day. We are motoring because the little wind we have is right on the nose. As always. Looks like a pretty cool place, huh? It looks awesome. It's a lot of birds. Welcome to Brimstone Island. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just coming out of the bird nesting season, so they just kind of fledged their baby ones. And look, here. Oh, the birds! How oh, cool! You can see the boats on there, it's awesome! Look at the fog coming in too! Cool. It's beautiful! Yeah. It's a cool place, huh? This is the story of Delos sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Della's videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel.
Okay, take it in a little bit, Kasa. Take it up. Stop. Let it down. Now it's still stuck. For some reason, our chain must have gotten caught or fallen on itself in the chain locker, and so we can't let it out. So I've got to go down and take a look at it down here. That's holy something. Luckily, there's a pretty good access port up here. Just gotta get this stuff out. This is a watertight compartment up here, and it serves as a collision bulkhead as well, which is pretty cool. Let's see what's going on. Oh, geez, it's a big ball of chain. Weird. Okay, Kaza, take it up a little bit. Okay, hold up. That's good. I'm sorry, baby, but we have to park the boat. Sierra. This might be my favorite anchorage yet in Maine. Look at this amazing view. I just came outside to pee and I saw this and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Look at this. It's so calm and the moon is crazy. It's perfectly quiet. So peaceful. Oh, look at that. The stars are great. What are you wearing inside? <laughs> it's cold, Casa. I know. You know it's cold when I start wearing my cold weather gear and I wake up in the morning. So, I think uh, I'm going to make it my priority to finish the heater project today. I have everything I need and I just need to like make the effort to finish it and then we should be toasty warm inside and I don't have to wear my fowlies. <laughs> All right, the way the system works is it heats up hot water in a diesel powered boiler and then the circulation pump pushes the hot water through the red tube and then it goes all the way through the boat to these fan heaters. So we've really got to run the hose all the way through the boat anywhere we're going to put one of these little fan heaters. Up until this point, I wasn't properly motivated because it was hundreds of degrees in the Bahamas. And it's been pretty nice so far here in Maine. It's been like 70s and we were leaving the windows open, but now at night, like it got down to what was it, five degrees the other night, which is like 40 something Fahrenheit. And uh, it's a bit much. <laughs> so it's, yeah, yeah it's, I've actually been uh, putting Sierra into like three pajamas because, I mean, she has been warm when she wakes up in the morning, but I'm like, oh, and she hates putting it up the job. It gets cold at night. It gets really cold. So I think it would be amazing to have the heater going for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get some help from, uh, well, maybe Andy. We're gonna knock it out. Nice. Yep. We're on the final stage of the project, and the part I saved for last is mounting the fuel pickup. And this is the top to the fuel tank, the access port, which I'm gonna drill a one inch hole in, except we have no one inch bit for the pickup. So we're gonna go head on over, see if maybe Andy Boy on Avalon has something. Hey 
Charlie. We need your help. What are you guys doing? Just doing what you're supposed to be doing, drinking beers. I came over to see if you could help me drill a hole in this. I figured if anybody here had the right tools, you would have it. <laughs> All right, so the, the rudder quadrant axe is an excellent workbench. I didn't ever think about just using a hole saw. That's brilliant. It'll go through the stainless though, huh? Mm. Jeez, that was a lot easier than I thought. Wow, I'm glad I came over here. Beauty! Look at that. Look, it's a perfect fit. Yeah. We'll call it Andy's Andy's Machine Shop Service, Seal Cove, Maine. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, come on over. Here. Coming over whenever you want. I owe you up here. That turned out really nice. Pretty cool, right? And this part goes right in here. Pretty happy with how it turned out. So this is the supply line. So the flow goes this way, and then it goes through the filter and up to the boiler. And then this is the return line. So the excess fuel goes back in and then back into the tank. So it's a big loop. It's time for the first flushing test. We had to create this interesting adapter from random parts we have on the boat. So the idea is the water will come from the hose, this way, this way, through this hose. It'll go down to the baby nugs. Hi, baby nugs. There's the fill point. Uh, and then we'll push water into the system and um, yeah, try and get the goop out. Uh, why are you emptying out the water when it isn't it supposed to be water in there? Yes, but this is the flush. So we fill it with water to get all the debris, dust, and construction stuff from us put it together out. So we fill it with water, drain it, and then we fill it with water again. Uh -huh. And then we test for leaks. So this is just waste water. Basically. This is just waste water, which is unfortunate because we just wasted like 40 liters of fresh drinking water. Yeah. Uh -uh. There goes the pump. I'm bringing it to the pump. Yep. And we gotta open this valve. There it comes. Waste water. All that fresh water. I have set all the thermometers to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's cozy. Would you like to do the honors? Yeah. Well, what do you do? You just flip on the heat. System heat? On? Whoa, there it goes. Smoke's coming out, that's a good sign. Combustion. Woohoo! Okay, so far so good. Okay, now if everything's working good, those fans shouldn't be putting out any air until until it gets to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the water. It just turned on! Just turned on! 94 degrees, 95, 98, 110, 114, 122. Yeah. You excited, Sierra? Yay! Feel that. Feel that hot air coming out. All right. Baby Nugget, you're not going to freeze tonight. Woo! You don't have to wear three layers and two pairs of socks. Woo! <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> How much work was that? <laughs> it was two billion hours of labor. I don't know. When did I start it? In March? Yeah. Probably a solid two weeks of work if I were to do it all together. But there's hot air blowing out. Imagine that hot air coming into the boat. We're always trying to keep the boat cool. I know. And now we want hot air coming into the boat. It's such a foreign concept. Ready a lot of dinner? people helped on this project. Yeah. A lot of people. Hi, my dude. Thanks for all the help. Yep. We'll see awesome. You tomorrow. Time for dinner. Good job, little nugs. You're such a good helper. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Take 96. <laughs> Ahoy Delos Tribe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. 
Did you know that for about the same price as a cup of coffee, you can actually support us, which makes it possible for us to continue making the videos that we love and the content that you want to watch. So if you want to support the videos, please consider becoming a patron. You will get early access to the videos. You also get to chat with us on mm -hmm. a per more personal level. Uh, and a lot of other juice things. Don't forget the free gear, Kaza. There's free oh, Dallas gear. Yeah, free Dallas gear. That's a good one. Seriously, a lot of good stuff in there. So head to patreon.com forward slash svdallas and check it out. That's it. Now back to the show. <laughs> Did you sleep good last night? Were you nice and toasty warm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing blows hot air into the boat. Can you imagine that? Blowing hot air into the boat? I know, it defies reason. She's bored. She just woke up from her nap and she's a little grumpy. So I'm trying to entertain her by telling her things about the boat. Oh, look it, Sierra. Look out here. Look it. It is foggy. But in our boat home, it's nice and cozy and warm, huh? How cool is that? Yeah. There's things out here. There's... Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. Coke, broccoli, mushrooms, cream cheese, whipping cream, sharp cheddar, two blocks, red wine. Okay, this sounds like a good list. Uh, the nearest store is the next island over. I think it's yeah, six it's or seven fun. miles. So I'm going to go on a dinghy ride. I'm going to get the family some food. I'm going to get... <laughs> hey, don't eat the list, Sierra. You have to eat when I bring it back from the list. Can I have that, please? Sierra. See you later. Good morning. Hey, do you guys have any rubbish you need to get rid of? You got a bag or two? Yeah, we're gonna run in. All right. Oh, yeah, you, got the valley, uh, you never know if it's gonna rain. Get, get, give me your trash. The garbage scow is here. Hanging out, wine bottles poking out the Okay, these are the kind people that came by Delos yesterday and offered to help us out with a trash yeah, and grocery run today. Thank you so much. This is an amazing place. What a great place to spend the summer, huh? All right, I'll put the camera down and help. How about that? <laughs> Would have been a bad day to do this without a car. <laughs> it is pouring down rain today. It's just been insane. It's raining a lot and yeah, Brian of course have gone and bought all the amazing food and stuff. <laughs> we got all the ones. We got the essentials, fuel, and that was awesome. <laughs> now we get a long dinghy ride back. <laughs> you ready for this Brian? Thank you again. See you later. Thanks again. <laughs> Enjoy the weather. <laughs> so I feel bad for him. I sent him a message and he called me on the radio and said I'm incoming very soon. So they're probably gonna be super drenched. What are we doing out here? <laughs> here they come, Sierra. It was a wet ride for them, huh? It's a really wet ride. It's gnarly. 
gnarly <laughs> out there, Kaza. Yeah? Yeah, it was too, uh, too gnarly to play. I hope the groceries are okay. We took a lot of waves over the bow. <laughs> that made our Bahamas run look like a walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, this we is used to like... complain about that. But that's... Yeah, what a mission, Brian. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy out there. Yeah. Like, it's really protected in here. Like, we were launching over waves. Whoa. Mm. Baby Nugs, you have eggs now. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Starting. I haven't, I haven't seen that in a long time. Look at that. Be fine. Blackberries. Ooh. Nice. Whoa. They look really good. Yeah. Nugget looks skeptical. Mildly amused. Yeah, she, amused. she has a little bit of a scowl. <laughs> what are my parents doing in here? Do you want a Do you want a blackberry? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, say goodbye, Sierra. Can you say bye? <gasps> she waved! <laughs> Good job, Nugget! Don't miss next Friday's episode as we go in search of the perfect time lapse. We could probably capture the boat and the sun set and maybe the moonrise if it runs for long enough. Yup. Okay, so. And Brian tried to find me a birthday dinner. Hey guys, we buy him right off the boat. So she's gonna be a very happy lady. No, they don't. All right, you guys take care. Good luck. Yeah! Yay! Yay! Turn stats turn on. Hey, excuse me. Bless you. Hey, excuse me. COVID. Ah. Here, go like this. Go like this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, look, you got sour cream all in your hair. Yeah. These <laughs> years awesome. of doing it in the bush. <laughs> Doing it in the bush, is that Australian for something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>